Getting up every day and coming and coming to the shop is is not hard to do. When you do what you love to do every day, it's just it's no longer a job. Probably the earliest memories we grew up in in Fremont, and uh, Fremont Raceway was was you could hear it from our house, and um, we used to go there. My dad, my brother, and uh, it was just way cool. I got hooked from there. That was it, and it was just. Uh, they haven't stopped since. My dad was the typical greaser in the 50s and had the, you know, had the cool car in high school and uh, he was always into cars and so it's just kind of a natural progression that, you know, passed it on to me. And I had an older brother and he was building the car so I was always out there with him and, and so, you know, at a young age I was helping him out, um, building my bicycle over and over and over, stripping it down to the frame and putting it back together. I would do that every few weeks, you know but it also kept me out of trouble from the other elements that you can get into at, uh, in, you know, when you're at an impressionable age. I spent a, a lot of years, I was in body and paint business. I was worked at dealerships, built cars. Finally just got bored with working on normal cars, I guess you might say. Found there was a, there was a real need for, for a professional shop to, to not only repair cars, but build cars up to, you know, factory standards. I saw there was still a lot of old school thinking on how cars were built and it's just, uh, there, there was a need for it and decided to follow my passion and just uh, go for it. Yeah, I think the, the industry is definitely taking a different direction. I think the traditional carbureted small block hot rod is, is dying off. With the new technology coming in, and it's gonna be a different type of builder coming in. It make, it's harder to make everything work together. It seems easy when it's done because the cars are just so much easier to drive. There's, there's a, lot of, a lot of readily available horsepower from the factory now that we can take these motors and have a completely streetable 600 horsepower, no problem. So that, in that way, it seems easier, but to make everything work together, you know, it can be challenging at times. 65 Riviera we built was uh, basically a cl the client came to me says, I love the styling of the car, hate the way it drives, what can we do? So what we did was, was basically take a modern LS3 engine, disguised it to look like a nail head motor, modern transmission, drivetrain we adapted over without losing the flair of the original car. We've got a Corvette base front suspension on it, a lot of hidden electronic stereos completely hidden, all controlled through Bluetooth, so electronic air conditioning, but the controls we had remade so they would look original, and try to just modernize as much as we can. So I think we achieved our goal of making the modern day 65 Riviera. We've got so many ideas, all of us here, and, and like to see things come together and, and create these cars that are in our heads and, and make it all happen, and it's it's so gratifying. When it's done, you stand back and you look at something that you knew started out as, as nothing and develop into to, to what you see. Just very gratifying. Implementing these ideas that, that we have in our head and making it work and use this component with that design it so forth and it all comes together and it, it works as planned and you know there's just so much satisfaction to that when, when you see this this stuff come together with and, and, and doing something that hasn't been done before either. The 69 Camaro was a couple years ago a customer came to us and, and wanted his 69 Camaro done in a, a European supercar themed 69 Camaro. So what we came up with was, was we, we put a full Art Morrison chassis under it, set the motor back about eight inches. Uh, it's got 640 horsepower, LS3, uh, six speed, winner's quick change rear end. So it's got all the, all the right ingredients. Uh, car works extremely well. We did a lot of body mods to, to give that modern appearance without losing the 69 theme to the car. There's a few iconic 69 Camaro elements we left on the car, but tweaked it around just to uh, modernize the car, give it a more streamlined look. It's turned out to be a very good performer. It, it, it gets used a lot, so the car uh, works as, as well as it looks. I really get analytical about wheel and tire combinations and, and stance and spend countless hours to, to get these, these cars to, to have that look and then to have them perform. A big motivator for me is, is to make sure these cars work as well as they, as well as they look.